Welcome to my YouTube channel Modi Mechanical Engineering Tutorials. In this video, I would like to explaining about classification of metal forming processes according to the type of the stresses is being used to converting into desired shape and size. So basically, in that case of the metal forming processes, I will discussing about rolling, forging, extrusions, and finally with drawing and deep drawing process. So let us start with uh, some basics about metal forming process. So in that case of the metal forming process is the bulk material in the form of ingots, glooms and billets and that will be converting into desired shape and size with the help of processes like forging, rolling, extrusion, drawing, deep drawing process. So these all processes, it will be used material as a ingots, glooms and billets that will be depends upon size and shape of the job. So basically in case of the metal working processes, there is no any kind of cutting process is being required. So just converting such ingots, glooms and billets into required desired shape and size of the material. So you can say that that will be one kind of plastic deformation is being used to converting that kind of required shape and size. So for that, these processes can categorize on the basis of which kind of stress is being employed into that ingots, blooms and billets to converting into desired shape and size. So mainly the stress that will be considering as a compression type. So in that case of the compression type, the basic examples of the metal forming processes as forging process, rolling process, extrusion process, and secondly, the tension type of stress is being employed to converting into desired shape and size. So in that case, it will be a drawing process. And if you are using both compression as well as the tension, to converting into desired shape and size. So that will be the third category according to the applicable of the stress is being employed. So combine compression and tension type. So in that case, it will be our deep drying process and embossing process. So let us start with the first one, mainly compression type. So just you can see the three different basic processes of the metal forming process like forging, rolling and extrusion. So just you can see the figure number one rolling process is over here. So in case of the rolling process, either you can use the cold rolling process or hot rolling process. So in case of the hot rolling process, heat this workpiece material above the recrystallization temperature, then that will be passing between two pressurized rollers. So one roller is fixed and another roller that will be movable and you can see that both the rollers it will be rolling into opposite directions. So according to my requirement of the cross sectional area, I would like to pass the material in between these two pressurized roller. So in that case of the rolling process, the length is being increasing and the cross sectional area of the workpiece material that being reducing. So you can see that as per my requirement of the different kind of properties into the workpiece material, I would like to select hot working process or cold working process. In case of the hot working process, it will be having a less amount of stress is being required to converting into desired shape and size. While in case of the cold working process, it will be having a high amount of compression stress is being required to converting into desired shape and size. But in the basics of the rolling process, just you can see the length is being increasing by reducing the cross sectional area of the workpiece material. So in case of the rolling, we are using the compression and that compressions it will be providing with the help of this bottom roller as well as by the upper roller. So as from the requirement of the cross sectional area, I would like to adjusting these two rollers. Second, the forging process. So just you can see forging process is being performing in between lower die and upper die. So in case of the forging process, 
our workpiece material it will be placed onto the lower die and with the help of this upper die I will providing the compression stress onto that. So, according to requirement of the shape and size, I would like to select the different uh, die materials and the shape of the die. But in the basics of the forging, the workpiece, it will be in between lower die and upper die. And with the help of mechanical force or hydraulic force, I will provide the compression stress with the help of upper die. And just you can see this lowering the stress onto the job. And with the help of lower die, it will be it will be like that into the compression kind of stress is being that. So, in that case of the forging process, the height or you can say length of the job is being reducing and the diameter or you can say cross sectional area that being increasing. So, according to my requirement, I would like to select rolling process or forging process. And finally, in case of the compression type of stress, the extrusion process. So just you can see in case of the extrusion process that will be my container and one of the end of that container the die is being placed. So die that will be depends upon my requirement of the cross sectional area and just you can see the billet that will be filled into that container and the another end that will be the ramp. So, according to the application of the pressure or you can say compression kind of stress with the help of this ram towards the billet of that particular materials and according to the cross sectional area of that die, your product is being into the another end. So, your product is come out by the application of the stress onto that ram. So that is the one kind of extrusion process and the, basically the extrusion process that will be the requirement of the which kind of cross sectional area. So just you can change the cross sectional area of that particular die and you will get the different shape of the products. So in that the rolling, forging as well as in case of the extrusion process, you will use the compression kind of uh, trace to converting into desired shape and size. So basically in case of the extrusion process, if you want to make a road, so just you can make a whole kind of die over here. If you want to make the pipe, if you want to make this another product like T sections, I sections, so that all kind of products it will be made with the help of extrusion process. But in that uh, video, I will only discussing with the which kind of stress is being used for the different processes. After this, second one, and that is due to the tension. So in that case, that is a drawing process. So drawing process, just you can see, if you want to make the wire, like a electric wire, then a road, then tube, so in that case, just you can see, it will be the some of the similarities that we're discussing into extrusion process. In case of the extrusion process, the another end with the help of RAM, I will just uh, providing a compression stress. But in that case of the drying process, this is the dye material and that will be also similarity with the required cross-sectional area. And just you can see over here, in case of the drying process, I will pull that materials from this die. So according to that cross sectional area of the die material, the material is being formed in that kind of shape. So with the application of tensile force over the one of the end and you will get your product. So if you want to make the wires, tubes and roads, so that will be having a better options. Now the third one and that is combined compression as well as the tensions. So in that case the example is deep drying process. Just you can see if you want to make the cup kind of shape with the help of sheet metals. So it will be the combination of the compression as well as the tension type. So just you can see according to their cross sectional area I will select a die and the shape of the die as well as the material of the die. And just you can use the blank, it will be placed onto the die. And with the help of lowering the punch, 
and providing some clearance between punch and die so that material it will be elongated so here that will be the providing a compression as well as the with the help of tensile it will be converting into desired shape and size so in that case of the making of cup and shape so you will applying compression as well as the tensile force onto that and you will get your desired shape and size so in that video i already discussing with the rolling process forging process and extrusion process so basically in that case it will be using a purely compressions second one into a drying process we are using mainly tensile stress to converting desired shape and size and if you want to make a cup kind of shape so it will be requirement of the compression as well as the tensile kind of stress so i hope you understand this if you like this then subscribe and share modi mechanical engineering tutorial thank you so much and keep watching